Video Transitions The way in which any two video shots are joined together is called transition. Well, transitions are very important. Everyone from the camera operator to the editor must have a good understanding of how to make an effective transitions to make the video or movie or the footage look absolutely seamless. Keeping that in mind, today we will design a very cool displacement transition inside of After Effects without using any third party plugins. It's gonna be super fun, very simple and very cool looking effect. I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Call this transition. 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. And I'll make this five seconds long maybe. And hit OK. Let's create one more new composition. And this is gonna be our displacement map. So I'll call this displace. Same settings, hit OK. Let's hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid. I'll call this BG for background and make sure the color is set to white. Hit OK. Select the rectangle tool and let's create some shapes. Now make sure the colors are set to gray color because we will be using this layer or this composition as a displacement map and to you know for the displacement map to read this map you need to make it black and white or you know gray or white so that it reads its properties so i'll create some shapes very randomly just like so maybe okay that looks good let's go back into our transition comp and drag the displacement composition into our transition comp turn that off and then i'm going to drag in my images just so that we can see how the transition works Let's hit scale and scale this down. Bring down the image too. Also, I'll go to around 20 frames. Select the image and hold alt and close square bracket to crop that layer. Select the second image, hold alt and open square bracket to crop that layer. Hit S, bring that down, scaling it down just like so. So now we have basically two images. You can also use videos. These are just so that we can visualize our transition. So I'm going to select both the layers, right click and make them guide layers. Okay. Let's create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to call this stretch. Okay. Go right here and crop that up. So hold alt and close square bracket. There we go. And on this layer, I'm going to use an effect called corner pin. Drag and drop it. Let's go at the very beginning, create a keyframe on the lower left and the lower right. Hit U so we can see just the keyframes. Go to 20 frames and bring that down to, or bring that up actually to 1300. And this one to 1300 as well. So now we have a very simple movement kind of a stretch. So that is looking good. Let's select the layer, hit control D to duplicate it, bring this below and hit enter to rename this. I'll call this displace. All right, and delete the corner pin effect. On this layer, we will be using our displacement map. So let's type in displacement map into our effects and preset panel, drag and drop that one. And in the displacement map layer, now we will select the displacement composition that we created before creating this composition. So I'll just click that, bring down the max horizontal displacement to zero and the max vertical displacement to zero as well. Also set the use for horizontal displacement layer to luminance and this one to luminance as well. Let's create a keyframe on the max vertical displacement. Now I'm going to create a transition from the top to bottom. If you're going to create from left to right or right to left, you can keyframe the horizontal displacement, which will help us to create some nice displacements. Also make sure the wrap pixels around is turned on. Okay. Let's go to 20 frames. 
and bring this up to I guess minus 200. So now we have something like this. And anytime if you don't like the displacement, you can go back into your displacement map and play around with the way it looks. So it's going to get updated right over here. So for now, I think this is looking pretty good. Okay, let's select the layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it, put this below. I'll call this move. So now we can add some movement as well. So I'll delete the displacement map from this third layer and add motion tile. There we go. Let's just drag and drop it. Go at the very beginning, create a keyframe on the title center. Go to 20 frames and bring this down to 940. So now we have something like this, which is looking pretty cool. Let's select all the three layers, hit U so we can see just the keyframes. Select the keyframes, hit F9 on the keyboard, go into the graph editor. Now, if your graph editor doesn't look like this, then right click and select edit speed graph. So now I'll select this handle and drag it to the right holding shift. Select this points and drag the handle to the right, just like that. So now we have a very cool looking movement. But right now it's looking absolutely lame because now we need to create our out transition animation and it's very simple to create all you need to do is select all the three layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this below and let's change the color so we can see it more properly i'll place it right over here hit u and now you can see we have this all keyframes right here move my time indicator to two seconds Make sure all the layers are selected and hold alt and drag it. You can see the keyframes move along with the layer. So that was a really quick, quick tip. And now we have the save movement and basically all you need to do is reverse the animation. So I'll select the stretch tool, get rid of the lower left and lower right keyframes, create keyframes on upper left and upper right, set them to, I guess, minus 300 should be good this one to minus 300 as well okay let's go right over here at two seconds and set them back to zero so now we have the same stretch let's go to the displacement map let's create a keyframe and set this one to 200 i guess minus 200 not really sure let's see yep 200 looks good Go right over here at two seconds and set this to zero. So now we have something like that, but the motion tiling is not proper. So we need to change that as well. Select it, create a keyframe. Let's put this up actually to, I'll set this one to around 140. And let's go to two frames, set this to 540. And there we have our out transition animation. Now we need to select all the three layers, select the keyframes actually, hit F9, go into the graph editor, select these points and drag them to the left. This one as well. Just like that. And now we have this really cool transition. Now you can make the displacement map as complex as you want. To get a really cool effect now the last thing that i'm going to add is some nice exposure so let's create a new adjustment layer call this let's call this light add exposure on this go at 20 frames bring up the exposure to two create a keyframe go a few frames back maybe 20 frames back set this to zero go maybe around right here one second and 20 frames and set this to zero let's select the layer hit u so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 to easy ease those keyframes go into the graph editor this time i'm going to bring this one to the right just like we did before and this one to the left
and now we have something like this looking really really cool so there we have a nice displacement transition now if you want to use this transition on your videos it's pretty simple let's create a new composition i'll call this main comp let's make this 10 seconds long hit okay and for now i'm just going to use this two same images but you can use videos if you want to so i'll just hit control v controls control c control v to copy paste the images let's turn off the guide layer so now these are my main layers on my main footage or my main footages on which i want to add my transition so all i need to do is select the transition layer drag and drop it just like that and also one more thing is you can do is you can create a marker right over here so i can drag this and now we have a marker so we can see what's happening so i can just delete this and let's drag it again so now we can know where the transition should be placed now if i play this you can see nothing happens but if i turn on my collapse transformation there we have our transition applied on the footages below it so as you can see it's very simple and easy to create and using this technique i think it's a pretty cool technique and you can use this technique in different of number number of different ways and come up with your own cool looking transition using some really nice and complex displacement map so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative